Hi, my name is Chef Michael McReel, and I'm the department chair for the Culinary Arts Program at Joliet Junior College. The induction walk is actually a great piece of equipment. There's other walks that are on the market that are kind of low temperature walks. The problem with that is food sticks when it's at a low temperature, and also food has to take longer to cook to get tender. The new wave induction walk is great. I have very high heat. I can cook foods like flash cooking them, so I retain the heat, searing the outside of the vegetable and the protein, and keeping all the nutrients inside. In many restaurants, we use a wok and we use an open, open burner. The wok is round, the burner is flat. So what happens? The wok starts to tip and turn. I can spill ingredients out over the top of the stove. Grease and fire don't mix. The induction wok from New Wave is amazing because I have no flame, but I still have the high heat. So I can get really great crispy vegetables, really great tasting dishes. That kind of puts me at peace of mind in the restaurant and also at home. The New Wave Walk is a piece of ingenious equipment. I'm talking about something that takes a bunch of threat and fear out of the cooking experience at the kitchen. I can cook food and enjoy time with my family and friends. This is a piece of equipment that's not only versatile, but it is practical too. Well, Leite, the thing that matters most in a kitchen is using the right tool for the job. And in this case, the induction heat of the New Wave Mosaic Walk makes it ideal for not only food from all over Asia, but for some surprises you might not have considered. You cooking some fajitas in the wok? I sure am. Now listen, for some Mexican dishes, high heat is a necessity. You know that cooking fajitas is as quickly as cooking a stir fry. You really need that searing heat. The mosaic goes up to 575 degrees and that is definitely hot enough. What else you got for me, chef? Oh, you remember we were talking about braising earlier, right? Making meatballs is a great example of how you can use the new wave to brown your meatballs and then to hold them at a simmer using precise digital temperature control. You can set the meatballs to sear at 575 degrees for 10 minutes on stage one, and then reduce the temperature to 300 degrees and simmer for 20 minutes on stage two. Well, chef, since there seems to be no boundaries to what you can make in the mosaic, is it possible we can even do breakfast? Everything's possible. There's absolutely no need to stow your walk away in the morning because it's ideal for breakfast. Over here, we made a beautiful chorizo and potato hash, <sighs> and it tastes just as good as it looks. You can eat it with a fried egg on top, and you can serve it just like that. Because the induction heat is that much faster, it means you'll have breakfast on the table in half the time and more time to hit the snooze button. And look, the four quart capacity makes a lot of potatoes. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Too bad I can't do dessert. Oh, you know me, Leite. I've always got something on my sleeve for you. Come over here and dessert it is. We have some caramelized apples, raisins, and some Caribbean rum. Well, the thing that makes this dish so fun is not only the rum, but the fire. Fire? You stand back. Huh. So let's get our oh. swerve on here. Look at that. We're gonna have some flame. Let's have some fun, right? That's spectacular. What a show, Chef Dave. Carbon steel wok takes care of it really well. And now I just pour this into a dish, serve it of ice cream, my favorite, or pound cake or even cheesecake. Look at that. Well, Chef, the mosaic has proven itself to be a wok that can do pasta, fajitas, breakfast, even dessert. I'd recommend it to a lot of my college friends because it's so easy, portable, you can take it wherever. I can take it out to a barbecue <laughs> and make a nice stir fry dish for my family at the beach. I like entertaining in the backyard and having people over and being able to cook outside helps a lot.